Well, this is the famous Piazza di San Marco, and this is the Campanile, with this l tall tower, this big landmark of Venice. I've just finished painting um, a view across the water in the opposite direction with the gondolas in the foreground. Now I turn around and I've got this view. And to start it, I want to get the proportion of the Campanile, that big tower, against the size of the square. So I'm just painting round it the negative space to create the shape. And then moving forward, obviously I've just roughed in here shapes of buildings and people just to get a composition. Now I'll work in to adjust the tones and colours and details. So the first thing is, um, there's a few flags here and a few details which I'll just put in. In order to get depth into this picture, because that's a little bit flat as it is now like this, I've got to pull people out into the foreground and show some of these details um, in the middle ground, which are these flags and things like that. And of course these little touches of detail don't want to be overdone but they do make the picture interesting. It's a cold, windy, rainy day so I'm battling the elements a little bit here. And, but I want that atmosphere to come across in the painting. And in this case I've put quite a cool sky on and obviously a light grey sky but against that sky the buildings are even cooler and greyer so I may end up adjusting this sky so some little touch of the detail there gone in and now I've got to pull people out in the foreground not detailed but just the impression in fact if they were detailed it would spoil the picture the idea is just to give the impression of some people in the foreground and if you were standing there looking into San Marco from where I'm standing here you don't look at the people in the foreground you're looking at the view so any people in the foreground are just a hazy image and that's all you should paint so that you don't distract your eye and spoil the picture by making it about the people instead of about the square and it's about the size and space of this big square that's what the painting is about this big area of sky because the campanile the big tower is creating this big space in the sky and it's the proportion of that space and the little people that give this this sort of painting its um, energy. So none of the details in the people or in the building are very important. That um, They might be to another artist painting in a different way but what I'm trying to do here is just get the feeling of standing there. Now I'm warming up the sky uh, and lightening it to get a little bit more power in there. I felt at the start it was a grey sky but everything is relative so grey sky against grey buildings is uh, in a cool sky against cool buildings is not very um, is not a very smart thing to do so the sky relative to the buildings which is how we paint all colors and tones are relative they're not absolute you don't say that is the colour of the sky. You say that is the colour of the sky compared to the building. It's relative to the building. So the sky is in fact a little bit warmer than the building. So I've warmed it up there using uh, some white and some uh, ochre and a little bit of burnt sienna in the top just to put a bit of redness and warmth into it. And that gives me the feeling now of the right sort of 
temperature balance in the painting. So I can just go along here as I'm doing now, touching a few little details, not much. It's just to put a little bit of light here and there in between people. People are grouped in twos and singles often when in this sort of atmosphere. So you can stick a couple of people together and have some people separated and that generally creates a, a good way of doing it. It's not a formula, you should never work by formula, you should always just be looking, but that's how it looks. If you stand there and look out there, that's more or less what you'll see. So that's the end painting. I've added a little bit of red to the central person there in the middle ground. Uh, it's not because it's about that person, but it just helps to create a sort of focus in the center of the space at the bottom there. And that plays against the rest of the composition, which gives it a feeling of size and proportion. It's, uh, it's usual and ideal to think of a spot where your eye is coming to. And although the picture is really about the Campanile, the big tower, it, um, you're not going, it's an odd place to, to, let, to try to draw the focus. You can make more of that, the feeling of that uh, tower rising up above the square if your eye is drawn into the square. Well, that's the way I see it. And, and it's very important to get this emotional content into a picture and work out what you're feeling and what you want to uh, convey with the painting. It's not just a case of going around and filling in all of the people and buildings and see what happens. You've got to know what, you're, what the feeling is you're trying to get out of the painting in terms of weather conditions and what is the statement. My statement is about the feeling of the size of that tower against the square and against the, the place there.